Welcome. I am Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, and I have some very interesting and I think very exciting updates for you in today's video. Um, the Tesla Semi production appears to be kicking into gear again at the prototype facility. What this video shows is visual confirmation of my previous predictions that this line would starting up and that it would it would and could produce 500 to 1,000 Tesla semis while the high volume production is being built. Production building is being built. So I don't think they're gonna sit on their hands. I think they're gonna, I think they've tuned the design and they are now starting to produce um, more Tesla semis at the production facility. And this, this, this video is, is near certain evidence of that. What I see in this video and we'll focus on in a little bit is a, a one short fairing, several crates with leaf springs, with heavy duty leaf springs for a semi as many as 16, crates with axle housings, um, wheels and tires, and then the most interesting thing we'll talk about is coming up in a minute. So these are the crates with springs, 16 heavy duty crates, approximately 16 heavy duty leaf springs. Um, and above them are some wheels, uh, split wheels, and these tires are either brand new tires and they could possibly could be the used tires that I've seen uh, Tesla store at the uh, prototype production facility on Milan Avenue in the past. Um, but this is really exciting and we haven't seen these sub-assemblies. Um, as mentioned previously, most of the components for the Tesla Semi are supplier um, provided. These are crates that appear to have um, axle housings and um, in, sandwiched in between uh, some either new or uh, Tesla Semis that the engineering fleet uses to um, verify and test uh, the Tesla Semi. The most interesting thing I think and the most significant thing is what look like three partially assembled frames being stored outside with an extra set of wheels um, and before the front axles are put on. These have never been observed outside the building, which one can infer is that there are several more inside the building moving up the assembly production lines and these are them. These are those um, things that I had to study for quite a while to try to figure out what they were. Um, I'm not a hundred percent, but I'm nearly, I'm not a 100% certain, but I'm nearly certain these are partially assembled axles. And that third set of wheels is to um, keep it from tipping down in front until such time as the front axles are put. And that ladder device attached to the frame is simply there for um, moving the, uh, for moving the uh, frame around. Um, you notice that there is a little extra space between the two rear axles that has me a little bit perplexed. Maybe those aren't the final uh, resting locations. Um, so, but in any event, this is extremely exciting news to see all of these um, supplier components being stored outside. And I count as many as a dozen Tesla semis parked outside. Many of these are likely to be fresh off the prototype line some of which I know are part of um, the uh, production um, team, which means, which essentially means they're being used to deliver um, parts to and from Fres uh, Fremont and um, Giga Nevada. That, that those semis are separate and um, never cross over with the engineering team that is um, testing the Tesla semis um, to ensure that they can handle uh, and, and uncover any defects in design long before um, they reach uh, customers other than Pepsi. Again, I also have pointed out and, um, and have speculated that Tesla is about to deliver to a customer other than Pepsi, and um, I will leave it to either Tesla and or the uh, new customer to announce this. Um, and uh, I want to thank you for sharing and or for uh, for joining my uh, this video. And I look forward to providing more. And I really look forward 
to a Tesla semi um, production kicking into high gear and producing many more than we have seen to date. Thanks for joining.